All right, I know what we're about to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't they, doesn't it look gorgeous? The things we planted this year, the vinca, the pentas, but where is the scavola, the blue scavola? Well, yeah. there might be a few left, but the vinca and the pentas really outgrew yes. the scavola. But it still looks good. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, now this side is a little bit bigger than taller than this side, and I think that's due to environmental conditions associated with watering, mm -hmm. because there's an irrigation head over there, but I think it sprays up and over, which means it doesn't get this section of the garden as wet as this one. Yeah, and it actually makes a difference, as you can see. Yeah, so, it does make yeah. a difference. But yeah, now the vinca and these pentas, because we have vincas especially, we won't be able to plant them, even though they did well, oh, for about two to three yeah. more years because we don't want to develop any kind of disease pressure in this bed because of the vinca, because the vincas get the, the diseases. And uh, if you keep planting the same plant all the time, then you won't be able to plant them anymore. Right. And we don't want to do that. We no, want to be able to plant them because they've done so well. We want to be able to plant them again. Yeah. So we have to pull them out to put pansies in because it's that time of year. If we don't get the pansies in the ground, then they're not going to look good for when it gets really cold in winter. Yeah, so we, we want them to look good. We of want course. them to look good, so yeah. we got it's time to pull these out. And we'll pull them up, and then we can put them in a bag, and then put them in the compost pile, because yeah. there's nothing wrong with them. They look great. Yeah, this is always tough for me, though. You know that, right? Yes, I know. Yeah. All right. And it's hard for some people to watch, but yeah. yes, it's time. It's the time of year to to get rid of them. Yeah, so beautiful. All right. And I found a scavola. Did you? This is some good. It was trying. <laughs> oh yeah, I was trying to get out there. Golly. These went to their full potential. Look how about yeah. tw 12 inches is about right. It did really good. Get that in there. <laughs> Look at the size of root of that. Yeah, how about that? That looks nice. It really liked this bed. It's impressive. I know they look good, but we get that first frost and they'll all turn black. And that they go bee, to mush. They'll just go to mush and, and I hate to pull things up when they're mushy. <laughs> it's a lot easier to pull them up when they're nice and alive like this. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Yeah, a few weeds. A few much. spurge, a little the, dandelion. Yeah, the, which is good because we don't put any pre-emergent in this bed mm -hmm. and the plants got large enough that they shaded the ground right. so we didn't get weeds. We got all the plants up, but look, we got a lot of trash left and yeah. it's not going to, to, it doesn't detract from what we're going to be planting, we need to clean this up. So we'll rake it a little bit and pick up what we can't rake up. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. I don't want to get too much mulch in with this. I just want to get this, the yeah. debris. Okay, well, to get our pansies and snapdragons a good start, uh, we got quite a bit of mulch here. We'll make, dress it up a little bit at the end, but we'll put a little bit of this slow-release fertilizer down in the bed to get the pansies a good start. There we go. And let's talk about our pansies we're going to have. We got two different kinds of trailing pansies. Mm -hmm. We've never used trailing pansies before, so we'll see how they do. They're really known to be put in containers okay. because they will spill over the side and get at least 12 inches or more uh, in length. Okay. And they do the same thing on the ground, so we are going to try them here and see how they fill in. <laughs> we're going to see how they do. Right. Another thing we're going to do as we're, we're going to fill in between them with some snapdragons. Now, yeah. we've never used snapdragons before. I like snapdragons. The problem is they're a cool season annual, mm -hmm. but they may not be a cold season annual. So we'll see how long they last in the garden. Okay. If we get a very cold winter, they probably will not last. But we'll find out. We're going to find out. Yeah, my dad's going to be watching this. Yeah, he loves <laughs> snapdragons, so I, we'll I like see. Snap, I, I like snapdragons. <laughs> I used to have them in my house growing up, and yeah, I, I enjoy them. So this is a variegated one, and this is a, a purple trailing pansy. So we will 
disperse them evenly throughout the bed okay. and see how they do. All right. How do the root systems look so far? Pretty they good? look pretty good. Um, not, in fact, I don't even know if we'll, we need to bother tickling them or anything. Ah. So far, they're just, I mean, there's no, there's none at the bottom and they're just nicely coming around. I mean, you just might do that. It's, it, it really doesn't, it, they're really nicely rooted. Okay. All right, so what kind of pattern are we going for this on? Yeah, well, like I'm just going to randomly and put them in because with the trailing ones, they'll run into each other. Okay. Because, you know, they come in these plastic pots. And if you just pull up on these, on the plant itself, it's going to break off. Right. So I usually turn it upside down, kind of gently hold it between my fingers and squeeze the container, and it releases and it just comes right yep, off. It just pops right out. Since these are, are, are all different kinds, I want to set them out first so that we know what type of pans we put, it, put where and we can get a nice even pattern going. And let's put these purple ones in. These are gorgeous. A perfect size hmm. to plant. Do you see how they're trying to trail as oh. we're uh, setting them out? Yeah. So I don't mind that at all, because they're all in this container. So they're all next to each other. They can't flop over right. and start trailing. They don't have room. Oh, and look, we have a weed. Now, you do know a weed is simply a plant out of place. Mm -hmm. So these are pansies. So even though this may be another flower seed and plant, it's not in the right place. Yeah. So we're going to have to remove it, hopefully roots and all. Get all of the roots now and yeah. discard it. All right. All right, well, that's placing out all that I think we're gonna need for this bed. So we can start planting these and then we'll put the snapdragons in. Well, we will want to pick this up where we've planted it, move the mulch out of the way, mm -hmm. get down to the dirt and dig a hole and since this particular one isn't too bad with the roots, I don't really don't need to move the roots any. But when we plant it, you don't want it to plant it and bury the crown of this plant. Because when you bury the crowns of pansies in the dirt, they die. They don't like the crowns buried. So you just get some dirt to go around the edge, up to the so same soil level and just move some mulch around it. All right. Looks good. And then it's, then it's the crown is not buried. Oh, look here, Joella. Oh, wow. Look. Daffodils. Yeah. yeah, we planted those in the back, and you know what? They've multiplied, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll separate them okay. and plant them along the back. Okay, goody, goody. Yeah. That one is mush. There's one. We can plant that back. Here's one. There's one more. Set it right down there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. And we've got a clump here, so I'll separate the clump and plant these back. So there'll be some daffodils come up in the back Ooh. in the spring. And we want to make sure, you can see there's a little bit of roots here. We want to put that end down and the pointed end where the shoot will come up and the, and the hopefully the bloom is up. And these daffodils we want pretty deep. So I will just make a small deep hole and I can plant them in. All right, now we will space out these snapdragons in right. between. They will be taller. The, the uh, pansies are trailing, so they'll be down and the snapdragons will grow up. There's very, these are very small yet, be careful. They're not, the root system isn't real developed in these containers, so we'll have to be careful. 
And out of some of them have two per mm -hmm. container. Good for us. We got a few more. A few more. That works. And there we go. Now That's those it. are spaced out and we need to plant those in between the pansies. All right. Again, move the mulch away, dig your hole in the soil, and plant so the top of the soil is at the top of the soil level in the ground, and then move the mulch over the top. Keep away from the crown of the plant. Well, we finished planting. Finished. And as you notice, some of these uh, pansies have flopped over, mm -hmm. but these are trailing pansies. We really want them to do that. It's not that they need water. That's what they're supposed to do. But since we just planted them, I would like to get the air pockets out from around sure. the roots. So we do need to water them in okay. before we leave. We'll water them in and we'll see how they trail. This is always fun. It is. Can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.